channel. In today's video, I'm just going to quickly share an overview of my Halloween Ray Dunn cabinet, hutch, um, bookcase, whatever you want to call this. This is actually sitting in my dining room. And we got this piece from Walmart, I think back in the winter time. Um, I've seen people use it as a bookcase, as a dining room hutch. I use it to keep the dog's food in so that I don't have to, you know, give them their own cabinet in my kitchen or put it in the garage or anything like that so um, I'm sorry if this is a little dusty I haven't been able to give my house like a good deep cleaning in a couple weeks so forgive me but I thought I'd just go over this and share it with you really quickly this is all of the Ray Dunn Halloween that I have I do have some fall and by the way I'm drinking my morning coffee out of my witch's brew mug that's the only other Halloween piece that I have so anyways I'm gonna take you through each little vignette um, quickly and just show you everything and let you know where the things that are not Ray Dunn are from because when you're making a big Ray Dunn display like this you may want to get stuff from other places just to make it all come together and so I was super interested in where to get things to you know, make my display look cute like the ones that I see online and Pinterest. So I have hauled most of this stuff. I let you guys know that my fiance got me that um, cake stand. That's actually a cake stand that I have sitting up there and I decided to keep it. So many of you told me to, actually every single one of you told me to, my family and friends told me to, so it's staying. These two signs are from my Deco Crated Home Decor subscription box. And then this pumpkin is just from Hobby Lobby. And then these are the little tiny pumpkins that come on a pick from um, Hobby Lobby and they look so real. I just take them off the picks and they, they just look like real little mini white ghost pumpkins. Oh gosh. Alright, so moving down to this level here, I have my black bowls from, this is from 2018. But this guy um, is so cute. He's like a felt ghost and he's holding a banner, obviously. He was $10 from either a TJ Maxx or a Home Goods this year. His tag is still on. Let's see if I can. It's called Ghost Party. That's the brand if you want to look it up. From TJ Maxx. $9.99. So he's just sitting in there and then some people ask how do you get your bowls to stand like this let me see what I have in mind what is that I have no idea what that is oh I actually have a candle holding these up I've seen people use the radon cereal bowls flip them upside down I don't have any of those and I don't need any so I'm not gonna buy them just to stack my bowls but just use anything. I'm using candles. You'll see that I use candles with another set of bowls, which I need to fix, but it is what it is. And then I just have a lot of these little pumpkins from the Target dollar spot. My tray, my birdhouse that my dad got me. This is from Dollar Tree. I just put my own little buffalo check bow on it. And uh, this is from TJ Maxx. And then these guys, these little mummies actually come on a pick and they're from Michael's. I think they're $6. Can you see there? six dollars but everything at michael's is on sale so i think he just looks cute with a pumpkin in his lap so moving down to the second shelf here um and i apologize if there seems to be shadows i have a studio light behind me and um as i like walk back and forth i'm creating shadows so that's what that is i apologize it's very early in the morning i'm actually filming this before heading into work so um, I have my dancing skeleton canister. This is Ray Dunn. I've seen this back this year and I just think it's so cute. I did find that last year. I got my pumpkin spice tumbler from Facebook Marketplace. This sign is from um, my Deco Created Fall Box last year. I love that I have a treats canister. This is actually a dog treats canister. So always look in the dog, the dog section. There tends to be more dog items than there are like everyday items and I think less people shop in the dog section. So look there because treats is obviously perfect for Halloween because trick or treat, you know. So anyways, I have the Spice It Up um, little pinch bowl Halloween mug. It's orange inside. The Boo canister that my future sister-in-law got for me. And then these are measuring cups. I got these off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, for less than the retail price and that was so nice that someone gave them to me that cheap because these ones aren't the hardest to find but they um, 
they cost like $19 or something like that. So moving down to the bottom shelf, I have this set of melamine bowls and they look like the Leaning Tower of Pisa right now. They're sitting on top of candles and I'm gonna try to find a better solution for them this weekend um, because they're leaning and everything. But that's this little corner. I have my Happy Halloween tray hiding in the back there. And then I have the large measuring cup from the set, another Dollar Tree pumpkin, another one of those mummies, and just some pumpkins. My fortune teller mug is purple in the inside. And of course I have my black Hocus Pocus. So that's the whole display. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. Um, I'm still probably gonna be tweaking it. Uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know. I don't wanna add any greenery. I know some people do that in theirs and I think it looks cute, but I just don't want to. Um, I'm trying not to add any greenery into my fall and Halloween decor because it just reminds me of spring and I just want it to be super fall right now. So maybe I'll add in some like leaves or something. Dory girl, why are you crying? Why are you crying, Dory girl? What you doing? Here's Dory. This is my parents' dog, Connor. Pardon the floor, dog food. Probably a toy they, they uh, tore up. Connor, Connor buddy. Hi, he looks really scruffy and he is. He needs a uh, he needs a grooming and he has seasonal allergies, so he's got some problems right now. And then Chippy, hi buddy, you need a grooming too. <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in a future video. Bye now.